Hello everyone and welcome to this segment of New Faces, New Spaces, which highlights our new faculty and our new learning spaces in the School of Arts and Humanities. Today we are very excited to have joining us one of our newest professors of percussion, Dr. Matthew Jordan. He's currently the front ensemble arranger for Music City Mystique, the music coordinator and sound designer for the Blue Coats Drum and Bugle Corps, and music advisor for the Colts Drum and Bugle Corps. Prior to starting at JSU, Dr. Jordan was the Concert Percussion Marketing Manager for Pearl Corporation, Adams Musical Instruments, and Assistant Director, Bands, and Instructor of Percussion at Bill Tennessee State University. Dr. Jordan, welcome to JSU. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Well, let me ask you something. What, where did you realize that you had this, this love for percussion? Well, I think it, it started really early for me. My, my family actually is a very musical family. Uh, my uncle was the principal tuba player for the Nashville Symphony, uh, and also my grandfather was the principal flute of the Nashville Symphony and also taught uh, at a bunch of high schools in the Nashville area as well. Um, so I kind of grew up around music, and uh, funny enough, actually, uh, I actually wanted to play percussion from the very beginning, um, but when my parents asked me if I wanted to be in band, and I said yes, they asked me what I wanted to play, and I said percussion, and they said, yeah, you your, uh, your musician uh, relatives said you can't do that. Um, and so for the first uh, three years, I played I played trumpet and I played euphonium, actually. And, uh, and funny enough, uh, they just needed a percussionist for a piece in, I think it was in sixth grade band. And uh, so they just asked for volunteers and I raised my hand saying I wanted to play percussion. So I sneakily actually traded over to percussion without my parents knowing. And, uh, and kind of went from there. So it's one of those funny things of I was a trumpet player and kind of snuck into the percussion thing um, within that. And, and, you know, from that point on, really fell in love with it. Uh, from seventh and eighth grade, it was me kind of trying to play catch up. Uh, in ninth grade, that's when I joined Music City Mystique um, and also started being in things like the Nashville Youth Symphony and started kind of developing the marching side of my kind of percussion playing and the concert side kind of simultaneously. Right, right. And you've traveled extensively for your profession, right? You've been to Mexico, China, I think. I think I saw South Korea, Hong Kong, Macau, Japan, and a few other places uh, that I'm sure I'm leaving out. But out of all your journeys, like, what was the most rewarding trip that you had? Uh, I mean, by a, by a large margin, I would say it's when I spent, I think it was five weeks in, in uh, West Africa, in Ghana. And so we actually did some studying. I went with the University of North Texas uh, had an exchange program. Um, so I went over there to study African Awe drumming uh, in the kind of eastern part of Ghana on the coast. And uh, it was just an incredibly rewarding experience because most, most tours and most times you go to another country to study, um, you kind of spend a few days in each place, but you're kind of jumping around and going on a tour. Uh, for us, the entire trip was in one location. And so you really got to know the people, you really got to know the culture, the food, the music, um, even even got to the point where we were doing some cultural things like learning how to do a dinkra printing. So we were not just doing music, we were doing art, we were doing language, we were doing all these different things. Um, and so it was just very valuable to kind of really truly be immersed in that culture um, and in that, um, especially in that in that part of the world. Um, it was just really, really eye-opening, um, both musically, personally, uh, it, was, it was a really, really awesome experience. That's amazing. So what were some of the things that attracted you to the JSU music department? I mean, so I, I've actually known a lot of the professors at JSU for a long time. Um, so w when I was teaching drum corps in my kind of early days, uh, I was working with Spirit of Atlanta, uh, but which at that point was Spirit of JSU. So for the first, I think, year and a half, two years that I worked with Spirit, it was actually an official ensemble of JSU. So we would do kind of the first three or four weeks of tour on the campus. It was during the summer, so I wasn't kind of actively part of the university working in its normal capacity, um, but I was still around on the campus and really enjoyed the area, and most importantly, really enjoyed the people that I was working with, uh, such as Clint Gillespie, such as Sean Womack, who are now uh, my two colleagues in the percussion department as well. Also meeting people like Ken Botterford, uh, the director of bands, uh, just meeting all those people and really enjoying my interactions with them uh, through that. And also, uh, I've, I've actually worked with JSU students through my roles with Music City Mystique and Blue Coats um, for a long time. So I, I've, I've always known the quality that JSU has brought uh, from a music standpoint, but especially a percussion standpoint as well. Um, and so it was a perfect opportunity to be able to kind of continue that tradition of excellence that's happened for, for long periods of time, uh, especially since I knew enough people here and kind of knew the area. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm from Nashville, so we're only three hours away from, from family and things like that as well. So it's a, a good, a really great situation overall. 
So speaking of JSU students, what should I expect as an incoming freshman coming into your studio? So I think the big thing that's uh, a little bit of a wake up call for a lot of freshmen sometimes um, is that most most times when you're coming from a high school, especially being in your junior, senior year, you're usually preparing for like one thing at once. You know, you're preparing for all state auditions or you're preparing for a percussion ensemble concert or you're preparing for a concert band a concert. Um, and I think the, the biggest uh, shock that a lot of students have is that they have to do all of it at once. You know, they're working on, you know, uh, 30 minutes of music for one lesson, 30 minutes of music for another lesson each week, plus also working on brand new percussion ensemble pieces on a regular basis, concert band pieces, in addition to doing things like marching southerners. So I think that um, the most important thing is get used to learning a lot of music because it's one of the, those things that you kind of have to jump into it pretty quickly, um, going from not learning much to all of a sudden learning large quantities of things pretty fast. Um, so I think that that's the one thing that I would recommend for students coming in is just be ready to uh, sort of practice a lot and kind of learn a lot of music quickly. Oh, that's good advice. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. Um, if you'd like to know more about Dr. Jordan, you can do so at his email address at mgjordan at jsu.edu. You can also contact him through the Jackson State University website and also the School of Arts and Humanities Facebook page that we have available for you. Thank you again, Dr. Jordan, for your time. Thanks so much.